cute. I'm wearing this. David got me this hat um, last winter. Um, coming in handy this winter because uh, the heater in my van uh, is broken. Well, it's, I don't know if it's broken. I think it's like a flush or something. We're going to go tomorrow probably to go get a uh, heater to plug into my uh, cigarette lighter. Outlet. Yeah, cigarette lighter. Thank you. Um, to go on my dash to help keep uh, the windows clear and keep us warm. Because I don't like to bring Matthew in this car that much right now. But anyways, I got a new job. I start today. So, I'll show you. <laughs> so, yep. Amazon delivery. Over there. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm David. And this is Matthew. And we're the Bear Family. And welcome to our channel, Amy for Cozy. The 29th. Had to change my day. The fireplace, I still haven't done. Still looking how it did at the last update. And it is not the next day. I started working on that on Sunday. It's now Thursday. There's the fireplace. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I don't know what happened, but the first half of me filming me working on the fireplace project, that's what I was calling it, uh, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Can't even find it in the recycle bin, like if I instantly deleted it. So I have no idea it vanished. And then I just felt like there was no point of me sharing the second half of me working on this. So I just decided just to show you guys it finished. So, I was really bummed about that. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I haven't really had, like, a whole lot of time this week. Uh, we've had appointments and, uh, and trying to navigate, um, Amazon Flex. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if that one is going to pan out because I can't get a block until, like, normally later on in the day and then I'm working at night and when my car heating was not the greatest like it was it wasn't working at all we were freezing uh the two nights that we have done it we were freezing we broke down on um, the first night we're like we can't do this again in this heat or in this uh not heat but in this cold um in this van so I got a little heater for the van to put on the dash that you plug in that sucked it actually short fused my cigarette lighter outlet and so yeah so then we were cold and uh amazon flex the app is not not as simple as it should be um yeah i've had to call support more than i would have liked um like i will follow the directions drop off package and then it won't let me go on to my next package like it's still like it is saying I haven't delivered the package and I did took a picture and everything and I had to call a uh, customer not customer service but had to call a uh, support like the support line that you that you call to get help when you're on the road doing that um to have them like reboot my system so I can continue on and then uh Monday when we were working we actually had three packages that were not on our route so David had to take those back Tuesday morning because I had to take Matthew to his doctor's appointment um and it three hours is not long enough to uh at least not long enough for us to get all of the deliveries so um yeah it was late and I got a letter from Amazon about that um but honestly three hours is not enough and 
um, when you're trying to get the hang of the app, like it had to stop like on Monday, this happened twice. It happened on, on last Friday when we tried this for the first time, it had to stop at locations when that wasn't our location to stop at. It was actually around the block. Um, so us taking time to figure that out, uh, slowed us down. And then David, um, he's not used to, uh, not like, like, not like the system will tell him, uh, turn right at the stop sign. He's like, what stop sign? There's no stop sign. And I'm like, David, it's just telling you ahead of time that there's a stop sign coming up. So when you get to that stop sign, you're going to turn left. He's like, oh. So, it, yeah, so that was a little complicated for him. We each had issues. We both have learning disabilities. So, we each had issues with it. I don't think that it's ideal for us. Um, grocery deliveries and restaurant deliveries are a tad bit simpler for me, at least. I think for David, too. This was just, especially when they give you a time, like, when you're doing grocery deliveries, yeah, there's a time limit to do it, but you normally just have, like, one delivery at a time and then you go back and get another one that's normally how I do it but this one you have like multiple stops you got to make um and then when the system is like not on your side like I had to go to my hometown um uh, like literally this same area in my hometown where I grew up on um we went there on um Monday and how it got us there was a zigzag when if there could, they could have, you know, made it a lot more simpler and had us stay on. Um, there's two different freeways. We could have, they could have just had us get on to the one freeway that took us straight to that area rather than having us get off the freeway um, and then doing a zigzag motion of getting there. It could have just had us like get off that freeway and then go to route and then be there. But instead it's, so, yeah, and then with it being cold, and then when it gets dark, there was one address that literally did not have a number on the house. We, I did knock on the door just to make sure, because I want to make sure everybody gets their orders. I, I feel a very high responsible responsibility to make sure that people get their deliveries. So, I, um had to even knock on the door and make sure that this was the right house and it was and she the woman literally said that yeah I don't have um numbers on my house and my thought was why are you ordering stuff then like it's not like that's how I am finding the locations is matching the address so, because when it tells me to stop there's multiple houses it could be especially like I don't know I need to make sure I'm not the right one so I want to match the address to the address that's on the box or on my phone and when you don't have the numbers on your house it makes me makes somebody who has a learning disability like me or anybody honestly it would confuse anybody because it's like I don't know maybe it's just me but I don't think we're gonna do it anymore um yeah, and when you're on level one, it's not worth the money either. So, like, so my first night, I only got $53 or $54, $54 for the first night uh, block that I got. And then the second block that I got was uh, $83. And I'm honestly like, I have to put half of that into my tank. And if that's how it's going to be, it's not something that I can, like, make, like, live off of, really. Um, I know that once you get to higher levels, the money does get better because I was talking to some people and I was watching some videos on it of people who, um, do Amazon Flex on YouTube. And so I know that the money can get better, but, uh, when you have a van that takes a lot of gas and right now gas is low in our area, so that's awesome. But still, like I have to drive 35 minutes away from where I live to pick up the block then I drive pretty much back to around somewhere around my area 
to to deliver all of those and I only have three hours to get it done and if I don't get it done within three hours then I'm late and all of the extra packages I wasn't able to deliver has to go back to the station by 10 30 the next day and then I haven't been able to do my nails and that's like making me kind of depressed because if you haven't noticed I have my nails are different pretty much every week um yeah so because I'm back to um like I'm not really into makeup but doing my nails makes me feel pretty and um kind of complete like I don't know just gives me a, a certain vibe I don't I don't know really how to explain it but it just makes me feel good and I haven't been able to do my nails they're chipping they don't look flat they don't look cute at all and so um yeah because Friday when I did this Saturday I ended up taking a nap like the longest nap because I was so tired uh then Monday I had to wake up we did this we didn't get home until late um when I did an early one I did a 3 30 to 7 30 but because I was so determined to try to get every one of their packages but still got late on them and then when I had to call customer service they're like well your block is over so like your shift is over just and though and then I was like well I have three other packages in my car it's like I'm not seeing three other ones on your on your block and so we gave him the addresses that of the boxes that I had and he was like oh yeah those are not on your um those are not on your schedule so those need to go back to the station so we called the station and they said just bring them back by 10 30 a.m the, the next morning and because our car did not have heating we needed to get home we were freezing David's hands were numb um I was actually starting to not feel cold anymore which I know is not a good sign so um we were like we're going home because we're so close to home um so I made that decision and I was like we're just going to go home we'll drop them off tomorrow um but I had to wake up early I didn't go to get to sleep until like probably past midnight then had to wake up early to get Matthew to his doctor's appointment by eight so David took the packages and then when we got home um I had tried to go to the grocery store do our shopping that day and realized my card was not in my wallet and remember that David had the card to go to the store the other day and I was like oh it's probably still on the shelf by my bed get home it's not there so I dumped everything out of my purse and it was there it just wasn't in my wallet so I forgot that I put it in there so yeah I'm distracted I'm not getting a whole lot of sleep um, this is why I do like jobs where I can be more flexible because then I can I can do work life balance a little bit easier. Um, this job was taking a lot of energy out of me and especially at night. I'm not a night person. I I am a night owl to I used to be a night owl or night, night jobs used to be probably a little okay for me, but I don't know. I don't like night jobs. I've had a few night jobs and when I was younger and they didn't last either um but I seem to be a little bit more tolerable with them then than I am now I ended up going to sleep um Tuesday after we got home from the store because I was just like so stressed out I was in a bad mood um so I ended up taking a nap and then I didn't wake up until like five so then today is uh Thursday um, or is today Wednesday? Oh my gosh, another example of like why I've been so distracted. Today is not Thursday, today is Wednesday. So, yeah, yesterday I ended up going to sleep, didn't take a nap at like two something, didn't wake up until like five or close to six. Um, because David woke me up and I was like, Do you want dinner? Are you hungry? Um, and I was like, Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so it's almost one. I told David we were going to leave at one because we need to go to the gas station to get gas in the car and then head over to where his doctor's appointment is going to be. Um, it's not like far away, but yeah. And I also need to clean my purse because on Tuesday 
I had so many things. Um, I don't know if you can, guys can see it because of the light, but you know what? I'll just flip you around so you can see it. But yeah, see this on my purse. That is Matthew's protein shake. Um, his bottle nibbles that he has been through. That's why I need to get him actual sippy cups. Um, yeah, it's just all over my purse now. So I need to clean that. And then we're going to be on our way. Okay, I guys wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to surprise you, even though you can't feel it, but our heat is working. Again. Again. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, um, we had to get it a flush done. But also, I want to show you guys this. My mommy made this, um, a few years ago. It's a little wreath. I think I'm... Anyways... Oh, it's kind of like the bell is supposed to be it's all twisted the bell is supposed to be like that and um she got it for me for my car but the hook is gone so when i'm out and about i'm going to try to find a hook because you hang there i don't know how it's going to work with <laughs> that probably try to put it behind put it right here yeah so while i was in paying for the gas david found the hook in the glove department so now we got yeah, see, the good thing about having a fan is there's two two glove compartments. Well, not everybody has two glove compartments. But, yeah, we found it. <laughs> there we are going. This is, the, I, this is the second time I've been to Target this month in a short time frame. Am I becoming a Target mom? At the dollar spot, I found this for a dollar to go with my project with the Christmas house I'm making and then these are their frames and I got an idea to put a picture of each of my mom's grandbabies in it and then put magnets on the back to make them uh, fridge magnets so that's a maybe I don't know if I'm getting that yet see what these are like Little Christmas tree decorating kits. Those are way cute. On um, this kind of looks freaky because it looks like it's been cut in half. Um, but yeah, here's like little Christmas trees. We're gonna get our Christmas tree out hopefully this weekend. Hi, Matthew. But here's all of their stockings, which reminds me, Matthew got a new stocking that his uncle bought him. So I'm going to put his last year's stocking in our bedroom for decoration with his new, well, with the fireplace I'm making. So, all those are cute. So I'm over at the Christmas ornaments. Every year I get Matthew an ornament that represents that year that he had. And I haven't found any of that pop out to me at Walmart. So I am I looked here last time, but David was like, it's kind of hard to browse with David because he, if he's bored, he wants to leave. So I'm looking a little bit more if I can find anything that represents Matthew's year that he just had. Oh, those are really darling. But I'm not seeing anything either. Like he has a red truck one that I got him. Um, actually that was mine. I have to show you the ornaments I got him for the past three years like his first one's a snowman that says baby's first christmas um his cousin actually got him that one and that's what got me the idea so i started the tradition oh look at that little door and last year or when he was one I got him a dinosaur because we went to the dinosaur park for his first birthday. Mm -hmm. And then last year I got him a little cell phone 
Uh, Liz, what is that? Oh. <laughs> um, got him a little cell phone one because he loved playing with my cell phone and his toy cell phones. So this year, I have no idea. The store is making me want to go to Hobby Lobby. And I might because I told David I want to go to Big Lots because that is one of my mom's favorite stores. Um, and I wanted to go there to see if I could find any stocking stuffers for her. And Hobby Lobby is in the same area. So we're getting this for Grandma's stocking. Matthew thought it was food and put his mouth on it. So that's why we're getting it. We are at the Joanne Gaines section. It's kind of a little disorganized over here. So. Mm. Again, you guys are way too close. Hmm. Yeah, this is like, oh, I love that. That is so cute. I just saw something that. Um, look at that radio. That definitely can't fit into a stocking. Hmm. Oh, some measuring. You can't really see it. It's dark. Middle mm -hmm. tongue. Okay, so now I'm in the kids' clothes section, and six dollars for long sleeve shirts. Walmart right now they're like four dollars for his set for his age and his size. So I'm gonna pass on that. But look, but these pajamas are so darling. So if you can afford Target's prices, go for it. We were. <laughs> we're gonna go eat. Anyways, I decided I didn't want to do my grocery shopping at Target after walking around and getting and stuff and Ma letting Matthew out of the cart once and then he I had to go chase him down. And then I bought the stuff and got a drink and let I got him some uh like goldfish for him to eat. Um so and I got David but David, uh, his back is numb pretty much, so he can't drive. So we switch places. So next time, I will be dropping him off. And then going to get him when he's ready. Um, so now we're going to go to Sam's Club because it's a cheap place to get, like their food course, a cheap place to feed all three of us. And me and David go there. Yeah, if you're on a tight budget, that is the best place, really. I can't really see you. Well, the sun's glaring in my eyes anyway. Well, I glaring. have it this way, side, this way right now. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go there. And then we might, I don't know. I wanted to go somewhere else to do my grocery shopping. But uh, Big Lots doesn't even, they're not on my app. So I can't even like get some stuff there and get my money and get money back for them or whatever uh, by even shopping there anyway. So it's like uh, right now I kind of want to get as much money back as possible. So um, might end up going. To, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to end up going. I Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't know like a whole lot of 
stores that are in my area that So, might just go to Walmart on um, after this. Maybe we'll go to the Walmart that is in the same parking lot as Sam's Club, which we never really go to that Walmart because it's always crowded. We can go have Chinese buffet? No. No. There's too much money. But it is good food. It was not that great. Well, for that you. That one was not that great. Me and David went there. Um... In the beginning of our 2020, no, it wasn't our relationship. <laughs> we had been there on a date, but um, beginning of 2020, and I can't remember exactly when, but I was not filling the food, and we think I was pregnant. It was around the time I was pregnant, and I didn't know it yet. All right, so this is my Walmart haul and then one thing at Sam's Club. So this is supposed to be over here, but we got apple juice, bananas, because you know Baby Bear likes bananas. David likes these and this was like, I think a dollar back on my app. This is the chili that we're gonna try um, and do Frito pie on Saturday. Uh, corn dogs for Matthew. I got these chicken ones to see if he likes them. Um, mac and cheese. Banana nut. Uh, muffin mitts. Because when Matthew doesn't eat his bananas fast enough, I put them in the freezer. Got this for Matthew. This is, um... A baked oat and wheat snacks. This is cinnamon flavor. So hopefully you like that. The chips for the Frito pie. Oh, we forgot to get that in the thumbnail. That's David's Mountain Dew. <coughs> David wanted these last time when I forgot my card and then realized my card was in the purse, just not in my wallet. So I got them this time. And I picked out these ones. These are money back on my app. Bread. I got me four of these today. I'm gonna try the ginger ale and then the baby's milk. The baby's milk. And then you saw the apple juice. And then this is the one thing I got at Sam's Club because I was running low and it's too much money at Walmart to get a big one. And at Sam's Club it's only 10 bucks. So save me $3 because at Walmart I saw it for 13. So probably with tax saved about $4. So. I'm happy with myself. That's the haul. I gotta put it back or put it away. We'll go over the receipt and the other stuff we got. And David will give you an update on how his shots went. It sucked. And we'll go over my receipt from Walmart. Not all of this. I'm not gonna go over the receipt from Target because I didn't buy groceries at Target. Um, but not all of this is groceries either. And um, I'll go over what what extra stuff I got. Um, so at Walmart, my receipt came to eighty two eighty four um, for all those groceries and then the other stuff that I got. Uh, for the groceries, actually, it was seventy two eighty nine because I got it at Target. And then I'll go over the extra stuff that we got at Walmart. Um, so for my mom's stocking stuffers, I went. I showed you guys what other stocking stuffers I already have. Um, so these will add to that. No. Okay, so let's see. My mom doesn't watch my videos because I, oh, I don't think she does. Um, but we did get this for her stocking stuffer. So that's one. Um, two. And then three. This is actually part of my own like lotion collection I had, but this one has not been used. And it's a fragrance that I know that I think my mom will like because my mom likes lavender scents. And this is lavender uh, sage scented. So I was like, oh, I think my mom will like that. So 
I'm re-gifting it for her. And it's funny because I think she's the one who got me this that had like Sitz lotions in it. And I just, I can't use them all in here because I got in like two last year. Um, so they're, uh, they are a good to buy and kind of just re-gift to people. So I got her these wax melts. They smell really good. And I think if I, if I don't edit it out, I actually did film this in there. And I actually had no choice to get this after Matthew licked it. Um, because I smelled it and then I was like, baby, you smell it. And uh, he, he did more than just smell it. He tasted it. So, like, it's going home with us. Uh, my mom loves these. So I got her a box of these. That's a lightsaber. Yes, they are. Life saver. Mess <laughs> saver. Yes. And you then must have. my mom will appreciate these. Uh, I always have these in my purse too to like clean the car, clean the table. Um, Should have used them today. Sam's up. But yeah, when you go out to eat, whatever. Um, then some tissues always good to have those on hand and then i bought this for my little house project i'm going to do christmas house whenever i get time to do that when i get finished with this project over here then i will do that project um but yeah i thought that'd be really cute so that is everything that i got at target well not everything after we did this we went to like to the to the uh small food court thing they have at Target and me and Matthew got oh I also got Matthew goldfish there and had him snacking on those with his drink that I got at the food court and got me a drink so um now we'll go over the stuff we got at Walmart extra stuff David uh for y'all that have seizures I'm sorry. Yeah. So the little space heater we got, we took that back and so they gave us a, they gave us the money back on a gift card. And um I just had David because David was low on deodorant, so I was like, take this, get your deodorant. And then he also bought this with that gift card um for Matthew. And then I got me deodorant as well. Um, I normally get my deodorant at Sam's Club, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do that this time around now that I need deodorant. Um, it saves me money though, because it lasts me like eight months when I buy it at Sam's Club. Bought two of these and two of these. I'm going to try to buy two more when I go back sometime, and then I will have a four set. And this, these will go with me when I move out. I just I love the color and they have little Christmas trees. Hard to I, see. I love but it. But they do. And then this is for me because I have Harper. I like to take my Harper medication, like my acid, re, my acid reflux medication, and then one of these. So I like why my medication is like waiting for it to be kicked in before I go to bed. I like to take one of these. And then, I think that is all. Oh, yeah, David's deodorant's in here too. So. Old Spice, the best. Old Spice. And then you guys already saw this in the grocery haul. And this in the grocery haul. Um, so David is going to go over uh, his experience getting his first steroid shots in his back uh, to hopefully hope that helps his back problems. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. So basically all they did was they put a steroid into my back. They had me lay down, which I took pictures, which you, you'll be able to see that. Uh, Sarah, I sent the pictures to Sarah. I will so, put them on the screen when I edit this. So, as he's talking, 
They're popping up. The 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 needle. The last one was the needle or, or for the steroid, and they had me lay down. They sat me. They sit there and they put this numbing agent on me, or well, in my back, and then they sit there and they wait ten minutes. The doctor comes back into the to the room that I was in. They X-ray my back and then they sit there and they stuck the needle in there, and they take a picture as they're doing that, and. Uh, they sat there and basically told me, you know, come back in two weeks to this is talk tough. to the main doctor. And uh, let me see that. And it says, sit let's go open it. Like we need a pair of vice grips. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. As I struggle <laughs> to get this thing open. Okay, so we will end this video here. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I really need go. to get editing on the other videos I have because all I've been uploading is grocery videos lately. Um, just because they are easier to edit when they're ready to be edited. But, um, yeah, so I do hope you guys enjoy this video and will stay tuned and watch some of our other videos when... I finally get them up and I still haven't done that because my life is crazy so um I'm hoping that I can get that stuff done so I can show you guys those things and before I don't know it seems like it's too too late but yeah I love you all I appreciate you all and we will see you in the next one bye